check right. this week. Is that kind of the message? Yeah, um, this out the practice today, Coach Oak basically kind of, um, he said that today. Uh, you know, this game is going to be a big game. Um, it's Texas A&M. Uh, and everybody, I mean, everybody knows what we did, I mean, what, they, what happened uh, last year. And um, it's going to be a very emotional game, especially for our fans. I know, and I expect, I expect everybody to be in Tiger Stadium, you know, ready and rowdy to go. But as uh, the players, we have to keep our emotions in check because we are actually out there and we actually make checks. We have to do certain things on the field. So, uh, you know, we're going to we're going to play with high energy, but we can't let that uh, emotion take over us and make us uh, do uh, things that aren't smart. Jacoby, how long did it take to get over that game for some guys? I did a lot of guys. Clyde was talking the other day about mm. how much pain it was after. Like, how, how long did it take you or mm. some? The thing that sucked about that game the most was it was the last game of the year. So we we're just sitting there, you know, for months on end, just waiting on going, getting ready to prepare for the Fiesta Bowl. So it, it sat there for a while and then sunk in. And, you know, uh, of course, Texas A&M winning a game like that, they're happy and proud. And, you know, they're, you know, you know, uh, talking about it and bragging about it. So we we're sitting there listening, seeing that. And we, we felt like we ended the season on a, a bad note. We ended it with a loss. And it, and it uh, sunk in, and it definitely was one of those games and one of those moments where, in the off season, when we needed that extra push uh, to go the extra mile, uh, that's one of the games that we refer back to because we we do uh, you know anyone everybody on this team does not want to have that experience ever again. What does that game put this matchup now? Is it kind of like in the midst of the rivalries with Florida? <laughs> and, like just just from that one game, does the, the animosity develop between mm -hmm. that team and you, you guys now? Um, I, I think. Um, I think it has uh, just on how, I mean, when two good teams go back and forth, when you have uh, a good A&M team uh, win a game and you have LSU team win a game and keeps going back and forth and you have drama set in, I mean, that's how robberies are made. So, um, you know, when, when one side dominates uh, the other, it's not really a robbery. Uh, but when you have two well-matched teams and two well-matched programs, you know, that's how robberies created. And I feel like uh, that's, that's what we have here. What can you remember on the field uh, with A and M, man, uh, there were so many times where the offense would go down and score, and I'd be like, oh, we'll get them the third down, and I'd be like, oh well, you know, just one more play, just one more play, and we we win the game. And A and M found a way to either squeeze into the end zone or get in position to kick a field goal, and um, you know, I just kept going to uh, seven overtimes, and you know, uh, I don't know, I honestly, I'm. I'm glad it did end. I didn't think at one point I didn't think it wasn't going to end, but uh, fortunately, uh, you know, I mean, I guess it did. But uh, we were on the right side of it, I guess. When Grant got the pick, and they obviously they ruled that Keith Kellen's mm. knee was down. But at that moment, you think you won. Right. What's that emotional swing at that moment? Uh, it, it kind of hits you, in, it hits you in the face. But uh, I mean, we prepare all the time, especially this year. Uh, we got to be prepared for everything. Um, just like uh, in the military, I mean, you, something something gets thrown at you, you, you got to take it. And uh, I mean, of course, you know, when Grant got the pick, everybody was excited and all that. But uh, when they uh, ruled uh, Mon's knee down, it was time to move on to overtime. It was time to move on to uh, keep playing and, and try to beat the Aggies. And um, you know, like I said, we didn't do that, and, and it set in with us. And we're gonna learn from our we, de we definitely learned from our experience, and we're gonna use that. Uh, to motivate us throughout the week, and it definitely motivated us, like I said, during the off season when we needed the extra push to keep going. Does Grant, does, more for does Grant still think that was a pick or that that was a fumble he forced? Oh, Grant last year, Grant last year thought he ended it with six picks last year off of that front with that one. So uh, in, definitely in Grant's head, he that that was a pick for him. Kellen Mond at SEC Media Days, I think he was just trying to compliment his own teammates, mm -hmm. but he did say that you guys were cramping up during the game. Right. And they, they were standing tall. Did you hear about that? Comment? Yeah, I did hear that. Um, you know, Kellerman, uh, like you said, he he's uh, he's doing a good job of believing in his team. Um, I mean, I, I don't think anybody anybody on their side would say give us any credit, and I and I don't think anybody on uh, on our side would say uh, anything different. Um, Kellerman is the leader of that team. He's the quarterback of that team, and those guys look to him for confidence. And he's going to give it to him, and you know that that's what a, a team first guy is going to do. And uh, for us, uh, you know, I wouldn't see anybody doing anything differently.